We're joined here by Tim Farley of whatstheharm.net and, well, all over internet fame. Tim, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Pretty good. Now, which TAM is this for you? This is actually my eighth TAM. Uh, I've been to, uh, since TAM 5, I've been to all the ones in Las Vegas, and I also went to the first one in London. Did you go to the Australian one? No, I, cu- I couldn't make that one. I just couldn't swing that. But one of these days, I'm going to get down for an Australian event. Now, what is it that brings you back to TAM every year? It's just so exciting. You, you see all these people here. Uh, it's, you just meet, like, really the best people, very, very smart people, uh, scientists, uh, magicians, uh, just all kinds of people. And they're all really interested in science and rational thinking and trying to educate the public uh, about these things. And, and it's fun. A lot of people hanging out in the bars and just having fun and enjoying Las Vegas. Now, tell the folks, I'm sure a lot of people know, but tell everybody about whatstheharm.net. Well, What's the Harm was an effort. Uh, when I went to my first TAM, I wanted to participate and do something after I was at TAM. So I came up with the idea of this website. And the idea was to capture the, uh, the ill effects of pseudoscience and misinformation. Uh, you, people often say, uh, skeptics often talk about homeopathy, for instance, which is just water but it claims to be medicine, and other people say, well, if you claim it's just water, what's the harm? Water couldn't hurt me. Well, the harm can be that uh, if you take the water instead of an actual medicine, you could end up dying. So uh, these stories come up from time to time, and I just thought it would be good to collect them all in one place, and so that's what I built. So there's a page on homeopathy, there's a page on chiropractic, and I just try to tell the stories of the victims, and we're not trying to make fun of them, we're trying to be empathetic toward them, uh, because it's not their fault that they were misled about this information. And we try to teach other people, don't be misled the same way, don't end up with the same fate. And uh, you're on Twitter, Krelnik, K-R-E-L-N-I-K. That's me, yep. And you'll find out this day in skeptic history. Give us a brief overview of how that's going. Yeah, that was another a project, and it was kind of just sort of something I was interested in. I just started researching, you know, what happened this day for sort of a calendar. And then I realized I almost had the entire year covered. So I thought, well, I'll just do one each day on Twitter. And then uh, if I don't have anything else to say on Twitter that day, at least I've got something. Uh, so I do it every morning. Uh, like today is the anniversary of when James Randi, that the amazing meeting uh, is named after, uh, got his MacArthur Genius Grant in 1986. Uh, so uh, just sort of put that out there. And it helps new folks, and there's a lot of new folks here at TAM, uh, learn about the history of skepticism and how this stuff has come, up, come about through the years. Very good. So check out whatstheharm.net and follow on Twitter at Krelnik. Right, and I have a blog called skeptools.com where I talk about using techniques and doing some of the things I'm doing, just using Internet technologies to try to get the word out there. Very good. Well, thanks for joining us, and have a great time. Thanks.